Hello YouTube, this is, today is going to be a tutorial on how to make, how to change paragraph text using inner HTML. It is here, you can go on W3Schools, this link right here, to see, It'll be right here, and you can try it, there is all different versions you can get this you can that that you can look at all that and I'll cover it some part in the video but this is how it works basically so this button it does a function that changes this text to a different text and this is paragraph text so it changes it okay so in here, this is basically it. So have your normal setup with any title I put in your HTML. In the body, there's the button with the on click of the function change. You can have the function whatever. I just put that there because it's easy to know. So you put any variable. I put P because it's paragraph. And then you get the element by ID. DID, which this ID is para, and it gets the element para, and then there's, then this comes in. So you have this variable here, which is basically this here, and it's inner HTML or value, basically, and then you can equal it to whatever text you want by. I just put by since it said hi. So you can change it. So, have your basic setup of the HTML. Then, put your head. You don't need it, but just put it so it's normal. And then, remember to save it after every couple lines or after a line or two. So, if your computer crashes or something, then it'll have it saved. So, title, you can put anything. I'll just do inner HTML. You can add style if you want. It will still work with style. And I'm going to show you. So, first make a paragraph tag. Um, I'm not sure if it works with... Um, headers I'm not sure but you can make the paragraph so so um the paragraph so it's big and bold and strong or B and you can change the font size so of the paragraph so it looks like it is like a he header so. um hi and then you can change the font size to let's say 2m this M is regular font size. Um, is M is one like normal font size. I think it's like fourteen pixels or so. I don't remember, but I think it's about that. So two of that would make twenty-eight pixels. So that's big. Then in here you. You can add color if you want. So, let me make it red. Then you make a button. You can style it however you want, but I'm not going to style it. So, on clip is put something. Um, your function name that you're going to put after here. So, let's just say change because that's really simple then you can put text change 
hi to bye. You can put whatever text you want in here. Anything like change text, but I just want to put that. Okay, so th you put a variable, anything. My put P. It's easy. And then you do document dot get element by ID. It's kind of explains itself. It gets a, the element by its ID. <laughs> yeah. Then you para, which is this ID here or whatever ID you want. Yeah. Then you make a function called whatever you put here, or you can change this to something else and put this to the new function name. Oops. Change it and then do p dot inner HTML. This HTML has to be all capitalized, and this is just one word, nothing. It's just inner HTML is equal to a string or a number, but strings are easy. You're, you can even do this, b, and you can make b equal i, like that. So now, run it. Change high to buy. It changes it to buy. Something also cool would be this. Put an if and else if statement and an else. Put a comment. Nothing here to do unless you want so it to do something if it. It's not equal. Uh, okay. So this is part. So change this change. Make a variable called whatever you want i and set it equal to zero. If I put in the if, if I equals zero, p uh, inner HTML is equal to by. Else if I is equal to one, p dot inner HTML equals high. Then you put this to i equal to zero, and this i equals to one. So this can make it change high by high by high by. It depends on what the variable i, this i right here, is. It can be zero, or any number or text. You can. Put it even to text if you wanted to, but that's too complicated. So, yeah, that's it for the programming. Now here, remember this will be a link in the description. Um, and so this is try it yourself. It does this function what I just did except it doesn't put a variable for it it just does document that right there and then puts a dot here and you can do into the inner HTML like I showed you there equals to this text right there and when you see it when you click it it changes it that's one that's this one right here says example change the HTML content of a P element with the ID equal to ML. More try yourself examples below. There you can return it. This HTML element object is like the document dot get element by ID basically the element there. And then this can equal to your text. Hello text. Specifies the HTML content of an element. 
return value a string representing the HTML con content of an element. So this it gets a UL. Yeah, it gets this and it changes it to. Wait, no, it just gets the content of it, which is coffee tea. So it just returns it there. That's that one when you click that. This one, it gets it and it puts, changes it, its inner HTML into hello dolly. And then this one changes the div content equals how are you. So there's this one. Well, yeah. So this is the actual text, and this is the development. It says that, and then the scripts runs it when it loads. So let's change it. So it's a function. It's inside a function, so it doesn't change immediately, and we can see it. Oh no. Let's do it on this. So when we click this, then it will run this function called C here. And this function C will change these values or these values into these values so when you see when you click this it changes to hello dolly how are you so that's the div and paragraph this one returns what the content of a an item an object in here so it's a paragraph with the id of demo so it says click the button to alert the text of this paragraph so the alert will show this text here this when it clicks when you click that it does my function which is here this is my function here and then it alerts the inner HTML of this object with the ID of demo, which is this paragraph here. So when you try it, see this, click the button to alert the text of this paragraph. That is, click the button to, to alert the text of this paragraph. So it returns base what this content is. This one is delete it how to delete it it replaces it with an empty string so it's like you can put a space or something so you can click the button to delete this this text it replaces it with this which is basically deleting it so it this does my function when you click it this is my function in here it gets the element and it changes it in HTML content into nothingness. So when you try it, it deletes it. And this one here is so you can change the link. So this is a link element with the ID of my anchor and the uh, normal half right now the link of it is microsoft oh no go back there you go. yeah um and the text inside it is microsoft so and here my function that when you click this button it runs my function and it has to have change link that's not important but this is my function right here so it gets the element of my anchor the element with the idea of my anchor here and it changes its inner HTML or its value content into w3 schools 
it changes the link or half into this w3 schools.com and it changes and it changes the target to blank which is a new window so when you change the link and now you, when you click on it, it goes to this new tab and that is it thank you for watching this video and goodbye.